First of all, I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping. That stresses me out. I'm gonna have to like locate where red bell peppers are. <laughs> In the produce aisle, just <laughs> FYI. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. And I am Farah. And this week we are swapping diets. Here's the thing, I'm nauseous a lot because of the chronic illness that I have. So when I do eat, it's like very small portions throughout the day, clean, plain food. It's like very boring. But also I'm extremely lazy and never cook. So the easier, the better. I cook a lot. I am like the opposite of you. Great. I usually cook myself breakfast, really simple things like just toast with avocado on it. She's gonna be in for a very rude awakening in the mornings because breakfast is like celery juice or a smoothie. I hate any type of bar, so I see you have like oh, macro bars, luck. Lara yeah. bars, I don't like them. Oh my God, I rely on protein bars. Yeah. Like I said, I'm lazy. For dinner, I usually will cook myself like a one pan meal, like just a simple stir fry with cauliflower rice. I can get behind that, but you have a lot of like vegetables in here that may or may not make it into mine. She also likes seaweed snacks. And I can eat seaweed snacks, but I'm not going to. <laughs> All right, so I gotta go do it. Wish us luck, me luck mostly. Okay, day one, I would normally make myself a hot breakfast, but instead, I have Lars' breakfast of an optional micro bar. And instead of coffee, I'm going to have to drink matcha. So it's day one, and I'm supposed to go make some sort of avocado toast after this. I'll do my best, but if I end up getting a smoothie, you guys have to support me, okay? The only good thing about this is that I could eat this in the car on the way to work, and I'm already running a little bit late. Oops. Farrah and I are walking to Trader Joe's right now because I have to go grocery shopping. But then I'm gonna make Farrah go and get the Impossible Taco Salad. It has the Impossible Burger meat on top. It's plant-based, it's vegan. She's gonna love it. I've not really eaten, I've not eaten anything. I've only had matcha, gluten-free bread to make avocado toast. Also like garlic. I don't know how to cook this. Garlic, I don't know how to cut this. So I got the Impossible Taco Salad from Mendocino because that's what Lara usually will eat for lunch. Mm. That's very good. It's so good, right? Mm -hmm. You feel like you're eating hamburger? Kind of, it still has those same flavors. So you think you flavor. could eat this every day? Yeah. I did not like the protein bars at all. I think I ate maybe like two or three bites and I gave the rest to Lara, and I went hungry until lunch. So that was my day. I just got home from work. Literally the last thing I wanna do right now is cook. I just got home from the gym, so now I'm super hungry, but the only things that Lara usually eats for dinner is a banana, chips and salsa, or the frozen empanada things. <sighs> None of these choices sound delicious to me, but I might go with the empanadas. I do think I would probably feel better in the long run if I actually did take the time to cook. I think it's just, I gotta make myself do it. There it is. Can't wait to be hungry in like three hours. I'm getting ready to make avocado toast. I've got my gluten-free bread, my avocado. Is that it? The problem is that if I even get close to my toaster, it's a little upset. So I think I'm just gonna eat it not toasted, which probably isn't as good, but you heard her. Maybe a little salt and pepper, some ketchup. What do you think? Is that gross? Get a chug a bunch of celery juice. You wanna smell it? That is celery juice. <laughs> exactly what you think it tastes like. For not cooking very often, I think I did a pretty good job cutting the avocado, and I think you guys need to see that. I don't think it's the worst thing I've ever eaten or drank, but if I was getting a juice, I would get something with a little bit more fruit in it just to like kind of mask the greens, but oof, I'm gonna be here a while. I'm not here to like call myself a genius or anything, but I think I could probably get this a little toasty on the stove top. Am I this up? Only time will tell. I really want an egg -a waffle. I did it. Yeah, it was really easy, so. 
just like ignore everything that I said about how cooking is hard. I know this isn't really cooking, but for me it is, so. I bought some bobo bars. She said the flavor that I chose, peanut butter, wasn't a good flavor. It's fine, it just tastes oaty and healthy with like a hint of peanut butter. All right, I have a Lara flavor approved bobo bar in chocolate chip. I'm gonna try and see if it actually tastes better than the peanut butter one, like she said. It does. It tastes more like a cookie, so I can understand why she likes them. All right, I'm doing it. I am cooking. Pretty much all I've done so far is lay everything out, but I got my knife, I got a cutting board, I got some veggies that I'm gonna cut up. We're doing this. This is the Beyond Burger that she puts in the lettuce wrap. Mmm, see how brown it is on top? I cut up part of an onion I cried a little bit. What up? We're literally cooking. I do want to try and cook a little bit more. The cauliflower rice, like I would definitely make it again. In terms of everything else, no. <laughs> I did it, I'm a chef. I like the Beyond Burgers a lot. Actually, since I ate them, I bought more. I didn't enjoy myself, I'll say that. <laughs> I definitely felt healthier. Like eating watermelon after the gym wasn't a bad thing at all. I felt like more hydrated. Physically, I feel pretty much the same as I usually do. I think a week was like a good amount of time if I had to do it again, I, I guess I would. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> it just didn't work for my lifestyle, yeah. which is fine. I think there is value in trying someone else's diet. For instance, with Laura, I definitely was eating a lot more vegetables and fruits than I normally did. For me, I would agree. It kind of reminded me that like, even if I don't have a ton of energy, cooking doesn't have to be this thing that takes like two hours where you're like making a souffle or something. I don't even know what a souffle <laughs> is, but I can easily just make like cauliflower rice or just saute some vegetables and still have a better meal than I would from like a frozen empanada. Which also, is what I usually go to. I think I got the wrong brand of that. <laughs> you're gonna, I'm you're sure gonna see. You're <laughs> Stressed. 